Okay guys, I am off to Poland, flying Ryan Air. So tired. <coughs> I'm gonna get there at like nine o'clock and I have to get out the airport by 10 p.m. so that I can make my shuttle to my hostel. And it's the last shuttle of the night. So let's see if I make it in time. I'll check back with you guys, with you guys once I'm in Poland. Woo! I made it to Poland. Woo! I have a 10 minute walk to my hostel, so it's lit. I speak no Polish. So let's see how well I do here. Hey guys, um, so today I'm on my walking tour of Poland. I'm in the old town. Um, it's my first day doing stuff, so I'm excited. Got on my Black Girl Magic shirt. Feeling really good. I'm gonna show y'all what it looks like. It's so cute, right? So I'm gonna see y'all uh, when I get to the end of the tour. Start dropping your buttons. Drop your buttons, drop your buttons. in the 15th century was quite similar, but they did something else. They entered the scaffolding and forced the headsman to leave. Uh, not because uh, they felt pity for the prisoner. Uh, people didn't really respect such lack of professionalism from the So guys, I'm in a tour in Poland and it's crazy wind and everyone's like freaking out. Like I'll show you. Everything is like breaking and they're glass tables. I can't believe that. And like, it just started like a few minutes ago and everyone's like freaking out. So, pray for me. Okay guys, so I'm headed, I'm here at Auschwitz, the museum memorial for victims, victims and survivors of the Holocaust and I'm nervous. So, I'm gonna show you guys what I'm seeing today. Hey guys, so I'm at Auschwitz to Birkenau, which is where um, the majority of the <sighs> murders took place. And I just, I, don't, I feel so disgusted. Um, I can't, I'm gonna show you guys some pictures, but nothing too graphic because I, I didn't even want, I didn't even take pictures like that. And the stuff I did take pictures of, it really wasn't that bad. But it is awful. This fucking concentration camp is huge. I'm gonna let you guys see it. Just let you guys see how massive it is. And it just keeps going and going and going. Like... I'm actually on my way to <clears throat> see the crematorium where um, people were burned. So I'm actually not going to the crematorium, I'm going to the gas chambers where people were, you know, killed. Um, the Nazis told them they were going to take showers and then asphyxiated people to death with chemicals. So. <sighs> this has been a great day. I've learned so much. Um, I definitely recommend going without a guide. I didn't go with a guide. Um, so I didn't have to pay. So I went completely free. And it's just really been a, a great heart-wrenching experience. Um, I'll go into more detail. I look crazy. Um, I teared up a little bit. <laughs> um, but it's okay.
Hey y'all, I'm out here in Poland. I'm on this walking tour. We're crossing the river. Uh, so tired. It's my second time that I stay here. I got on this hood because it's raining. Um, and my tour guide sucks. <coughs> He's mad boring. Like, no. But yeah. I think I'm gonna explore more of the Jewish quarter because they're supposed to got these like hoagie type things that's only two dollars US dollars so I want to check that out but yeah it's lit this one year later in 1941 again the authorities say that Jews we're going to resettle you resettle you from Kashmir to Potuja and you're going to live in your 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 area just isolated the way you prefer and about 10,000 people were forced to leave their houses and they had 10 days to leave Kashimis of Okuja. Independence Day, we have a big festival in Philly, and it's so huge. 